Hi, welcome. Today we're definitely in the mood for some specialized um, videos. And what better to test a new build Arco Linux 90.7.11 than to be online for eight hours already and making videos. So we've done a package build. We've done a creation from zero to AOR. So at this point in time, you can actually have a particular package build from Bambudi, which is a beautiful open box themes you can have, and I'm actually using them already, already on my system. This is what it looks like. It will color the menu and it will color your borders. Now, I've made already a video about that, another video about how to make um, the same package, but then for Arc Linux ISO builders. So people who would like to build their own ISO, you need to build it in a particular way, which is called the clean shroud. So that's been that's out of the way as well. Now, now another technical question people have asked is Eric, when you do an Arc Linux B version on the system, right? Let's let's talk uh, visually. Let's do an Arc Linux Linux B. And stop there and see what Google brings us. Arc Linux B, Linux made easy and beautiful. When we do this, then we get your scripts in. We get that. Uh, we have this um, choice that we have 14 uh, choices. Now, the last one is LXQT. And then we install uh, packages from Arch Linux, Arc Linux, but not from the AOR. So the question is. Hey, is it possible that we can get our stuff in from the AOR as well? Is already my Arc Linux B in? When you Google your way around the websites, so let's go to this one, new tab, and you type in, oh, there it was already, get started. You see that there is a command, well, a kind of script, kind of, Thing you can download getting Arco Linux up and running under 50 minutes with Arco get started one so there is this link that you can use when you click this you get a zip file when you unzip it you got all these guys and I want to have them all of that all the time I mean these are all our githubs the Arco Linux B guys so if you install Arco Linux if you if you Part of the project if you want to follow on the project Arconix B that means you build it yourself that's the vision choose your project and then you go and build it yourself so I just wanted to point out that in all of these folders that are coming in let's say we like to L do LXQT there's always gonna be an installation script number 30 if you have no issues with Linux kernels 31, if you do have an issue with the Linux kernel, then you take the Linux LTS kernel. But the thing is, in here is just this package file. All of this is coming from Arch, Arch, I still Arch, I see still Arch, Arch, still Arch. But at some point, it will make a reference to AOR. So here it's going to reference to the third party repo, still good, we still have this. Mm, no, I think we should clean it a little bit up. Not all of it is from the third party, but things that are coming from the AOR are not possible. So what we say, look, if you want to install afterwards, then you use the Nemesis script. You use um, your own script, build the Nemesis script is our thing. You build your own script. And the Nemesis is just a GitHub with a lot of scripts. And you say, I run this, I run that, I run this, I run that. And the get started one is exactly doing that. He's actually going to um, run the scripts that are in here. So you see what you use. It will install more stuff that's uh, not in the ISO. Not everybody gonna need VirtualBox, right? So yes, fine. And but the question still remained. What if I would like to build an ISO that has a, well, can I get my own packages in basically from AOR? That's the point. Can I get, for instance, this package in that we now have created? Can we get that in, in our system 
somehow. So that's the point of the video. It's going to be technical, so never mind if you say, what is this? Just enjoy Adaclinix. This is going to be about Adaclinix ISO building. How to get packages that are not from Arch Linux, that are not from Adaclinix on your system anyway, in your ISO. All right, it's set. That's what we're gonna do. The first things first, I can, well, first things first, first then we should say ArchWiki, right? ArchWiki repository, maybe. Let's have a look. Official repositories, always interesting to read. So there's the core, the extra community multilip. Am I inventing things? I think not. Okay. So core, extra community, multilip. Fine. So we have different places, catalogs, stores, where all the packages are. So these guys and the testing repo, and we have our own testing repo as well to test stuff out before they're launched. This is not what we want to do, but it is interesting to see that we should enable things in our pacman.conf. So we're needed, we do need some knowledge of this already. Okay, so this guy, let's keep that guy open. Unofficial user repositories, we're gonna make our own unofficial one. Jump to user repository, let's have a look. Custom local repository, that's probably where I got my knowledge from in the past. So, <coughs> they're not giving much away in the sense that the thing that they are um, talking about is a custom local repository with a local repository yes you're uh, helped with it but nobody else is just you on your machine so that's one thing but still not the page I'm looking for so the internet is a vast thing let's keep looking where did I click on? Do you want to keep this thing or not? It's not going to help me, but okay, I don't see it anymore. Package search, mirrors, arch wiki, arch user repository. Um, okay, we need something else. Create repository. Custom local repository, that's the thing, that was the tip we just saw, so I've got that back. <laughs> okay, clone tab, poof. And then, an official repository arch wiki, we've not seen this, that one, that one, that one, version control. No. How to create your own Arch Linux package repository for free. That's what we want to do, right? That's what we want to do. But clone tab. There is an official one somewhere. Let me take a look. All right, I did find my um, page I was looking for, but it's actually for a local repository. So we're not um, well now able to follow this. I have some things that we could rely upon, but basically I feel I just have to write my own thing. I can't really follow anything on the Arch Wiki. I can't really follow anything in detail in here. So it's gonna be a an, an cross breed and from time to time I'll check up on these pages because there are interesting stuff. There's just interesting stuff in here, but like I said, best maybe we just do our thing first. So if you want to have your own GitHub online, then you go to GitHub. Okay, forget who you are, sign out, sign in, but uh, sign up first. So step up your account, set up your account. Let's see. Um, yes, I know I don't have one. 
So I'm going to use my Arconlex teaching here, Gmail. I'm probably not going to copy paste. Yep, uh, successful. Control C. No, I don't think that was successful. So, nope. <laughs> Arco Linux teaching. Can that be with a point in between? Teaching. Can only contain alphanumeric characters or single hyphens. Okay. Arco Linux teaching. Email address. Arco Linux teaching. You know that's not a mail I'm going to use. It's just for teaching purposes. So we can actually make our own GitHub online. We're going to create a repo where that we're going to use later on in our pacman.conf basically. Password. You know the drill. You go up here, generate secure password. 40 looks like a good number. And then password, pop it in. Very fun, what's this thing? Touch the arrows to roll the image. Oh my God. Nah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> create an account. Welcome to GitHub. We are going to put that on in my, my um, how they call it, vault. So 700, 800 uh, websites are in there. We're not gonna go pro, but we're gonna go free. Basics of GitHub for every developer, unlimited public and private repositories, three collaborators per, per, for private repositories. Um, so if it's, it's open, if it's public, if everybody can see it, like in our case, you can have more issues, bug tracking projects, okay. Help me set up an organization next. That would be something you need to do if you are in, if your intention is becoming, having an, a real um, well, company or, or distro or Linux um, name for yourself. So that I leave that up to you. You learn about organizations and we continue. Welcome to GitHub. You'll find endless opportunities to learn. Okay, what's your level of program experience? None, don't program at all. What do you plan to use GitHub for? Learning to code, learning GitHub, that's okay, that's enough. They now know, they now know enough about me. Please verify your email address. Verify, click. I am who I am, I say I am this can go this is the one read the guides or start a project well actually it's been a while so read the guide what's github code hosting platform version control collaboration pull requests repositories no coding necessary create a repository that's what we're gonna do to create a new repository in the upper right corner next to your avatar click a plus it's gonna be here found new repository okay and then what and then what need to figure out and give it a name step two create a branch why would we do that create a new branch make a commit changes let's not make it too difficult guys so we have this Arclinix teaching and we need to give it a repository name let's see Oh, super shift return what did we call it in our system pacman where am I typing there.conf this is how we typed it in and we've called it Arclinux repo okay so that's the name that's what we're looking on on the net with that name we're going to a particular place Fine. So let's call this not Arclinux repo, but let's call this um, teaching repo, right? Teaching repo. Description, whatever. Not important. We can initialize this repository with README, not important. Git ignore none. Well, it's, it's good if you want to have um, some visual explanation. If you want to tell people, 
hey people this is about um, Sardi icons and uh, stuff like this this article links nemesis this is the readme this is what you see so if you want to show people tell people something about this repo you can do so but in in this case it's just packages we're gonna put packages on here so yeah you can say this is the an, an repo okay whatever you can add it Get ignore we've seen this in another video that there was an ignore file and we can actually say what to ignore i suppose never try this out we just make the file dot get ignore and put something in there so go go we have now an Arco Linux teaching teaching repo now the name is maybe not too well chosen but anyway that's it this is the link that we're gonna need later on and uh, we do need to do something I, it has been a while since i've looked i've done that oh, it must be somewhere in the settings i think it's this one gitlab pages is designed to host your personal organization project pages from a github repository github pages is currently disabled select the source below to enable github pages for this repository non master branch uh, templates probably the look it's going to be upload an image customize it you figure that out that is utterly unimportant okay it wants to rename it well we can still rename it it's okay it's okay teaching repo is fine was not changed do we need to save something or is this already saved it is saved green thing here your site is published at this site this place okay but nothing is in there we'll do our best to Put something in there so we have our place where everything should go teaching repo that's the place I'm gonna clone this already this is where our package will go in so we where should I put this where should I put this In my in sync maybe I'll see later. So Arco Linux teaching. Maybe it's best I put everything together. And in here I'm gonna make a git clone. Git clone from there. Okay. We have here a git, control H, git, description, pointing, always the wrong one, always the wrong one, config, here is the URL, github, Arc links, teaching, teaching, repo, fine, that's done, so we have now the repo, the thing is, I need to figure out what to put in there and how to put it in there and how to build it. So let's see if uh, we can find some more information. I'm not gonna find it on GitHub. Let's see if we can find it in pages like these. This is 1B, Eric. That's part one. Hosting an Arch Linux repo in Amazon. We do it on GitHub, okay? But the thing should be the same. Too difficult. Great buckets. We've created our own thing online. Credentials. We'll figure it out later. Um, yeah, that's my password. Huh? My super difficult password. As of yet, still just that one. Our utils building and maintaining packages. They're working with something else with which I would not like to work. I can figure that out later and learn some more. 
AR sync, remove a package, yes, repo remove, wrapper scripts, stuff that is not really, not it's really Amazon approach, let's say. So but they do create the same repo and they make it public, create it, then this is the key kind of thing. You can't come in without the key. We've done this in the tutorial when we put our package online on AUR. Similar, you don't come in without a key. These things will have to do as well. But no. So these guys can go, they're not helpful for me. How about this? How to create your own Arch Linux repository for free? We've talked about the uh, package build in the other video, so I can skip that about the package building itself, the name, etc. You can reread everything that I've uh, said, probably uh, same. So I'm skipping all that. Write it in Atom, write it in Visual Studio Code, write it in any editor you like. Building a package, that we'll do later. We have a package to build, here it is. Setting up a repository. You can set up an official, unofficial Arch Linux repository, given it uh -huh, a server that you have reliable write access to, yes, GitHub. No one else can get there, fine. An Arch Linux system, Pacman, that one, MCAP, fine, we have it. And what else? GitHub, should we follow that link? Let's see. Okay, we, I think we just are on the same page, just a little bit down the line. <laughs> so, okay, let's keep scrolling. Via GitHub, GH, my favorite method, me too. You can tag a release, etc. To include, uh, should be four. These are files generated command where is the name of your Arch Linux repository and packages is the relative part. Now see through the coloring please. I hate reading on this page but it gives relevant information. So then your Arch repository will have the server field where user is the username field of the repo Okay, it's not 100% what I need, but it's already something and some footnotes. Okay, like I said, I'll probably have to make it uh, my own thing. All right, 22 minutes are gone already, and we just created the GitHub. Okay. The GitHub, oops, the GitHub is here. We need to get things in there. What you always can do is learn by comparison. That's basically what I've done all the time when talking about building ISOs. Compare. We have here repo. So there is already one repos. Okay. And it's it has a, a particular kind of structure. It has the structure of the folder x8664 and in there you'll find all the packages signed or not signed in this case signed and that's what we need to get at at this particular construction. Okay so let's move you there create a folder x86 underscore 64 that's one thing we need to get something in here. We've made a video about um, the package build from Arch Schrute. Where is that? I think it's, uh, hmm. did I delete it already? Probably have, but I still have the Schrute document here, Dropbox. So the point is, wait a moment, maybe it's still there. Here it is. So in the last video, you have to rewatch that one, we've created a package build and that's the package build I would like to include on my ISO. Okay, just one example. This one needs to go on the ISO and it is on the AOR. 
right? It is coming from there. It's like any other package on the AUR. I'm gonna build it with a particular script. I'm gonna say my shroot is here, home, document, shroot. Then update everything inside this shroot, as Pacman, right? And then make the package, please. That's basically what I'm gonna say, all right? So I have something to put online. I need to have something on there. Okay, clean everything up. All the rubbish is gone. This is the file that I want to share, or want to have on my ISO. We go to, did I put it on my InSync? Yeah, I call it a teaching, teaching repo, 86, control V. So this thing needs to go online. And actually I can already put it online, but I need to know some codes and stuff like that. And what did we teach? We taught that in the Arch Linux D, we get a explanation. Yeah, correct. I was thinking, is it here? It's here. Cookies, yay. And then we follow this one, for instance get these two files they say get these two files that one and that one but they're everywhere just don't need to come from article xd budgie they're everywhere okay seven months old get these or you download everything and, and unzip it or you do something like i do now raw get this thing Control a Control c Create folder, git sh, doesn't need to have a version or anything. We'll be fine without version. We can call it blah blah as well, it will function. But it's needed to put any, everything and anything online. What it says is first check if anything new is online. If you forget to, if you're working with two computers and you move to the other computer, first pull the new stuff and then add the new stuff on this computer. Write a commit, meaning read whatever you type. This is the update. And then git commit, this is the update, will be sent to the GitHub. That's not easy, right? And not that difficult, I mean, to read. The other one is the setup git. That's a little bit more tricky. Raw, control A, control C. Um, you all put you out of the way and then here empty file setup.sh watch the coloring this coloring that coloring this is still empty control V save check the coloring again this is a script okay well it is a script now make executable make executable if you like to go into terminals schmot plus x and then whatever you want to schmot will add an x to the settings here okay now the setup is of course super uncorrect it's correct but it's not correct i am now article linux teaching Oh, Hola. still wrong teaching. I've got a Linux teaching. Okay, that's something we need to do. If you want to push back to the net with this folder and this content, I need to actually do something. I need to well, first do the setup. That's the last thing you ever do it. Then this system, this computer system will know who you are. Done. Never touch it again, unless you do a clean install, run it again. And then the Git version, the Git says, okay, put it online, just press enter. You need to have a slash. Write your first commit. Okay, first commit. 
there you go and then of course the username the username i'll have to look up what is the username is it arc linux teaching without anything in between so that goes Arco linux teaching and now the password a little bit difficult to remember so i'm going to my last pass account say copy a super a control shift and then v copy pasting the password in and everything is online let's have a look move back to here my friend this was just to get these two files in i have the two files getting ready check out uh, how to get to github if you uh, are familiar and want to see it again is there and let's reload it that's the article it's repo eric of course let's reload it one commit two commits first commit what did i do i added a git sh a setup kit and a binary thing bin binary thing and that's it now we're almost there what the the iso needs is a no not what the iso needs what pacman needs is kind of database he doesn't know what's in here i've closed my own thing i guess wrong thing eric repo iso for instance what is in here even more is these guys database database signature tar gz but db 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 right and some files so it needs to get more let's see if this is going to help us again because i must have figured it out somehow and got this information somehow i still don't know where i'm gonna pause a little bit and search i actually looked up something technical um in here it says somewhere repo ad right so i said okay let's just type in repo ad that's nothing more than i and that repo ad let's see this is just a manual page which is also might be also interesting uh, repo ad package database maintenance utility that's what we need to do path to db pacman quiet sign it with the key verify no colors delta new remove and the pacman tips and tricks and then i was looking at this one custom local repository but this is the one that's um local right use the repo ad script included with pacman to generate a database for personal repository use repo ad help for more details on its usage the package database is a tar file optionally compressed valid extensions are b files followed by an archive extension Okay. To add a new package to the database or to replace the old version of an existing package, run that thing. Let's get cracking. So we are here. I do think we need to get in here and actually run some applications, some, some commands. So repo add, repo elephant, I don't know what that is. Repo add. Repo add what? Well, this one okay and what do they say path to the repo db tar gz so this is not gonna work because it does not contain a valid database archive extension do i create it myself all right looked it up so next thing to do is actually create a database so mom repo add you need to add it somewhere path to database and then a package fine now the deal is that you are going to give it the same name as up here so we're gonna say repo add 
and then um, teaching underscore repo and then db power gz I think so that's okay teaching repo tar gz looks okay and then what are you want to want to want to add i can of course add open box and just be done but actually we'll get more and more and more stuff so actually everything that's in here that has the extension a package or an executable you know windows example exe tar dot xz anything that's in a, in a package should be added to the database so pacman can see it and now something happened he created four things and let's let's see how far we get with those and um, if that's the thing it wants to be able to see it so to be able to test this already we can actually do a quick test in between and and tackle the iso stuff later so update yeah i want to just type update my normal routine of giving cryptic uh, things so the idea is to give a long description of what is what this you did so adding a pacman data database for this guy okay all right so we've built ourselves something online we can actually have something well, I was just peeking around, you know, what was it again? Those things were two and a half years ago. Um, plop, plop, plop. What was I thinking? To have a look at our, at our, at our, don't we have it anymore? Or GitHub? This is it. So first commit, added the Pacman DB, you see? So these guys are new. Green is new, red is, is gone. So we have now this online. Can Pacman understand what's in here? That's the point. If you can't, well, no use, right? ATC, pacman.conf, open it up. Let's close some stuff. Open it up. Then we're gonna copy paste like so like so this we need to figure out what we should put in here i believe we saw somewhere a text about pacman.conf no maybe not nope so arch linux pacman.conf you go and figure it out what we need to do here. We can say here are the repositories and troubleshooting. Whoa, there was much more in front of it installing packages so this page guys you need to read this page this is your package manager installer you need to know this thing by heart so this is bookmarked somewhere or you know how to google it also good just read it i had hoped i would find something about the pacman.conf there must be something online about it. Maybe something like this. Includes, yep, server, cache directory, hook directory. Repository section. This we're gonna need, voila. 
If set to never, no signature checking will take place. If set optional, signature will be checked when present, but unsigned database and package will also be accepted. And is it still open? What we have done is required database optional. That's the SIG level, SIG level that we've done. And so we're gonna say just never, no signature, or an optional is also good. That's the default, okay. So optional is, is what it is normally. The built-in default is the following. Okay, we found what we needed to know. We need to test it, we need it needs to be correct. So that's that thing. Yes, I know, safe. The article repo submicron is not the name. The name is teaching repo, that's my name. done all right but this one is of course not correct this is pointing to a file and the file is great but um, we do not have a file we have actually um, a link now I'm also wondering what link I should give him should I give him this link or the other one you saw later on I don't think so I think it should be this one actually Eric just take a look at it just take a peek, they won't mind. That's what we need. But do we need the github.io thing? So that's the thing we need, but just not Arch Linux stuff. Uh, include should be gone then, like this. And let's see what it should be then. We just saw a link somewhere in settings. We saw something, uh, this one. This is the link actually that I need. But not everything. I mean like this, which means that's correct. Teaching repo, that's correct. This can go. All right, if this, and that's a variable coming from here. So if you have it twice, it won't work. So one of the two, I'd rather work with a variable. So this is the URL. This is the repo. This is uh, replaced with this one. And arch is then x86 underscore 64. Okay, we are ready. Ctrl Alt T. Okay, let's see if we get Paris. Okay, let's install again. That out of the way. I have here a teaching repo. What is in my teaching repo? Let's have a look. Teaching repo contains open box from Pambodi. Um, it's I had it already installed, so let me remove it. remove the open box themes from Pambudi, gone, and show you guys that it's now gonna be installed from our own teaching repo, okay, apply. To install that thing, apply, apply. Successfully finished. Are you sure? Yes, we're sure. It's successfully finished. It's on your system. Still don't believe me. Super shift return. Go here to file systems, go to user, go to share, go to themes and find one of his works. Uh, which name do I recognize? Any of them is good. Come on, Eric, you're losing time. Was I Willy Vermillo? Vermillo, I, th I think, is one of his. Yeah, that's one of his files. So there you go. We have it installed. It's not coming from Arch Linux. It's coming from your own repo. And you can install any of these stuff that's on there. And we've 
skipped altogether the parts of signature because basically it's your stuff it's uh, i mean if you tr don't trust yourself who can you trust right so this thing works but we need to get this thing in um, our system in the pacman.conf when we do an Arco Linux B build or later on if you just say Arco Linux bye bye let's make our own reap and our own distro that's what you are gonna need as well there so this thing is needed copy so what we have we done until now until now we have we can actually add our own repos no uh, we can make our own packages put them on our own repo and um, include them via pacman so that we have more available more packages that we like available pre-packaged that's the thing this is pre-packaged it's not make a package we've we have we've, we've created an, a make package with a shroud there but it's super fast installed because it's already pre-built the next thing could be is that you are thinking about our Linux B project and you say maybe I can actually add my repo inside this this very arsenal of distro and desktops and say I want to have this installed immediately on my ISO so from now on actually we better I think we get better split the video here because this thing is already finished right we have what we need to have in the sense that we have a repo it's online we can get it inside we can put packages on there there's only one thing maybe that we can include that is it's not easy to maintain there is actually no um, well do you remember after a month's time what you need to push online how what commands you need need to do if you want to have another package in here how to make the database again so that's another thing we better do so create the documents why not make an update.sh file that we execute and we get some code in control a control c Control V. We don't need all that. We just need this. All right, and then we start. Control T. What did I do? I did a repo add teaching repo etc. Man and repo adds repo add this thing. So basically, it's just one line that I did. I just did this thing. So do we need an? separate update sh for that maybe not maybe not but let's do it anyway here so control shift c because scripts tend to get longer and longer and longer trust me so that's one line it needs to go in here and it's going to add things now yep 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 i'm already thinking about some issues we'll get but no problem so update sh we need best thing to do is we will forget it best thing to do is actually say let's put it in here somewhere right let's say to the system you know what go inside x86 underscore 64 and update sh you need to run this thing before you put it online you have to update the databases if the, up the, uh, the databases are up to date, add them to the updating list and then read my input and then push it online. That sounds like a proper course of action. Git, wrong written again with a slash. Voila, there we are. File package star exit exit not found. What happened? Uh, I think I'll have to tell him to go inside that particular folder. So forget about it, forget about it. It's not good. Oh, 
Oh no, not here, but here, this guy. I should be saying probably rather than this line, go inside here, CD in x864 and then run me the update script. Let's see how that works. No such file or directory. Let's have a look. Typos. Make executable. Taken care of. Uh huh. Okay, now space between those guys. And then we're off. So this time around, he found everything. He's created an old one. And yeah, sorry guys, but this time it's gonna be a simple update. What I always tend to do, I type it faster than I can think it. And then it's online. Um, our own thing is in here. Oh, teaching repo. So this is my last commit of 21 seconds. And this is the change. So I've still a typo in here, it seems, but that can't be. Can it? Let's check. Anyway, that's my push to the net. This is just this. And this thing should be without faults and error. So this looks good. Just to be safe, I'm gonna change something and put it online again with another update to the general world, word to update things. And then checking again, fifth commits already working like hell. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? So update as the last one. Everything looks good. Let's check the git sh. You see, it's not good. I had a feeling he would do that. So from time to time, you think everything is okay. Whatever you put online is there. But this should not happen. It should have a space in between there. Let's exaggerate. Two minutes ago. Let me figure this out, guys, and come back to you. I guess I actually didn't save it, as simple as that. So, um, as of course, these things happen. The video is taking already 53 minutes. So, I have uh, copy pasted, you see here, the double one. Let's open this. It's actually the same thing as you see and I'm gonna keep delete this guy delete this guy and I'm gonna rename this guy to git version 1 don't save open it up this is what I need this is what it should be fine then this one goes online. Update. Another update. And we scroll up. Teaching repo. Last update is must be bringing hopefully the changes I would like. No, it's oh yeah, it's it's not kit. So let's refresh, 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 refresh doesn't like to be updated this guy git sh need to figure that out well I've made things worse and um, try to fix it and the only thing I'm not an expert in git I just uh, dabble a little bit in it but I do have a 
way to fix to solve things and that's in here in the Arch Linux repo ISO cleanup version so from time to time these repos get too big like two three gigabyte and it's all in the dot git folder so basically what I'm gonna do is a harsh uh, delete everything and get everything back thing which is not advisable but hey my knowledge of git is just what it is I'll get smarter but not yet right so we have this cleanup sh thing that we can use and it what it does is actually gonna let's analyze it's gonna move a file it's gonna move the git inside the git file there's a config file which is the most important one where is Arglings teaching at so that's an important file we can't delete that one so i'm moving it out of git removing git running setup git setup git is present with my name your name Arglings teaching okay this process is actually going to reinitialize it and making it a new git gonna add everything that's in here but better this time right with this space in between here the space needs to be there otherwise we get an error and i'm gonna commit okay that's a monthly cleanup and we force everything to be pushed on the net so it's fine if you're alone if you're not alone you work with thousands of people they will just kill you right because you're overwriting everything and um, well they're not they will not be happy at all so just for well, solving this quickly, this is how I propose to do it. So we have a cleanup sh, you see the coloring, it's not done. Normally I would say hop, click and click, but let's do a schmot this time. And clean up. Now we have a green cleanup sh as well. So let's run this thing and see if we can help it. Uh, not a git, no such file. Set up git, no such file or... Okay, yeah, I see the problem. So since I'm using versions, version, well, maybe we should just call it also a version, because it's interesting to see, you will be changing your scripts. And then you know, on, on the 100 githubs you have, I have set up version three, that's the one I need. So that's also an interesting thing. To keep working with um, that's setup git that's that's what it wants okay setup git version one correct well the version one is not important but setup git was it's looking for this word last time okay and then we move back everything back up online so we can continue our tutorial which is basically what we are here to do so what happens now which is interesting to see there is one commit I have just done this 17 seconds ago all the rest is gone so that's why people will be mad everything you can't go roll back your history is gone you never can go back in time so all is lost which is okay for me because I'm just alone and here he is don't know why I did it, but I know how to solve it at least. So there we are. We have now the last um, version online. We have a script to clean up even, to push everything online. And if there are other packages we'd like to build, maybe we could build another one um, from AOR. What you do, you just start building it and put it in here I, basically there's no more added value you've seen me do it with um this this bambudi open box themes they just copy paste it inside this xt x86 64 folder update it run it and it's fine so let's call it to stop the video here and um, continue with how actually we're going to get it on our iso